Hey, I'm Tim Davis, DevOps Advocate with M0, and this week we're talking about what does your Terraform look like? We're going to be looking at a project called Rover. This is a Terraform visualizer that will help you run a plan, generate a plan, and then see what it looks like. Sometimes if you have some really large, really complex Terraform, uh, it can be a lot easier for you to grasp what it looks like and what might be deployed if you can actually see it. So this project's actually going to let you go through. We're going to run it in a Docker container here locally. It's going to run the plan, parse it all out, and then let us take a look at what that actually looks like. So let's jump over into code and let's do that. I've got my Terraform project here that's going to deploy some resources into AWS. The first thing that I need to do is make sure that I have my environment variables for AWS that are set. So we'll do a print env and then we'll grep all the AWS stuff into a .env file. This will allow us to pass that through to the Docker container so that it can properly generate the plan against AWS. So let's go ahead and run that command here and it's just going to be a Docker run. We're going to point it at port 9000 and then we're going to point it to our environment file and then we're going to give it the image for Rover. And we'll go ahead and run that. All of this information is right there in the readme on the GitHub, so it's really, really easy to get started. It's going to go through. It's going to initialize Terraform. It's going to generate the plan. Um, and, of course, you want to run this wherever your Terraform files are. It's going to go through, and now that it says it's running on localhost port 9000. So let's go ahead and jump back into Safari, and this is what our Terraform files look like. There's some instructions here just kind of showing us exactly what's going on, what types of resources, and it actually breaks it down into our different files. So our main.terraform file here is creating quite a few resources for the Internet Gateway, security groups, VPC, etc. We've got some variables, as you can see in the blue in our variables.tf file, of course, and then our outputs is going to give us our address. Now, if we want to kind of scroll down here, we can break down all of these different resources, click on it, and it will give us the information over here under the details. Now, if you have a small set of Terraform files and stuff like that, this may not be useful, but for some people who are visual, this may help you put together exactly what your stuff is looking like and be a lot easier to understand, especially if you're just coming into a new environment you may not necessarily understand or you're just trying to learn Terraform. This can definitely be a lot of help for you. So feel free to check them out on GitHub if you use it and if you like it, make sure to give them a star. And I want to give a shout out to Anton Babank in the weekly dose of Terraform newsletter for showing me this awesome project because I will definitely be using it from now on. Be sure to like and subscribe to see what we're playing with next week.